teleport site. Right? When you touch white left arrows, you'll be teleported to red arrows. Also, you can't jump while touching red arrows. Side exit? No. I'm hoping that might be, though. Touch red arrows, you could teleport. Okay, I don't know what mechanic does this, but all right. Doesn't count for tiny ones. Okay, this is this is snazzy. Oh, that's cute. So Necrodancer music is perfect for this sort of thing. I need to be way better at that. Though. That was the one. I have no idea. But this this is cool. I'm all for this kind of nonsense. We got in below it. This is tricky. Well, crap. Uh, which stroll sprite shenanigans breaks if you scroll the screen? Oh. Well, I needed a way to die, so that helped. Thank you for the explanation, Max. But yeah, no, this is a this is a nice little level. I'm digging this. I'm not good at it, but I'm digging it. I'm glad there was a way to salvage my situation without resulting, resolving to use cheats. Alright, try this again. See, just required a little bit of effort. Okay, there's a bomb. There's a key. There's a reset. What was my goal? Okay, I, hmm. I'm actually a little bit confused here. Like, what do I want the bomb for? What do I want this key for? Oh, I need to be small. Ah, okay, I see it now. I need to be small and then, like, do something there. Okay. So I need to bring the bomb with. Bring the bomb with, but also somehow bring the key with. Hmm. Okay, my hopes of doing that definitely aren't aren't all there. are destructible, and I can do another loop. Those blocks are not destructible, and I cannot do another loop. These blocks are solid. Only seems to affect me. Okay, I got one thing through. How do I get two things through? Ricky. There's some property of these that I don't understand well enough for this, or is there something else in the room I need to be using? Do I need to do a double grab? That seems not tractable. I don't think this would have scored as well as it did if it required a double grab. This scored pretty well. Like, I think it came in, like, top 10 or something. Huh.
So I got none of the things to come with me. Maybe... What's up, 7 How you doing? Maybe they're telling, trying to tell me something here with regards to how this works. Maybe the explosion... Oh, I got the double grab! Alright, whatever. I did it right. I did it close enough to right. I have no idea what the correct solution is, but I got the double grab, so who cares? Uh, A. Right. I don't want to scroll the screen. Oh, there's a reach right here. Okay, my goal is to kind of track a missile. I see what to do here. The Necrodancer was a cool game. Just throw the bob bomb into the water? I tried that. What's going on here? Okay, well. Didn't get super far encrypted. Yeah, it was it's not an easy hack. Not an easy thing. A soft lock? Oh, I definitely found a soft lock already. At least one. Killed the merchant a few times. I like how the merchant would add singing to the song. This, I think, is a little bit cruel. Putting the fish off screen so you have to make a guess about its timing. But yeah, I ran into a soft lock earlier when I accidentally chucked the um, the trampoline into the wall, into the arrows, and realized I couldn't get out. And then Max says it would that the whole thing breaks if you. Uh, Oh, I forgot to do... I see what I did wrong. Max said the whole thing breaks if uh, you scroll, and I scrolled, and then it did something bad and killed me, which was perfect. Okay, no, I'm not bad, though. I see what to do here. It just takes a moment. This is the tricky bit. No! Yeah, unless, like, a soft lock really affects the level in a really annoying way. I don't think they ever, like, really hold that against people too often. Whoops. Ran to a soft lock in the last level I played, or, well, second to last level I played. And that one was definitely really annoying. Apparently I needed to go even slower. Right, okay, yeah, I forgot. I can go for a loop extend the life cycle of these things. That's the key to it. Yeah, I just hate that first obstacle. Like the jump fish jump, I just don't get it fun compared to the rest of the idea here. This is an intellectual level. See, that's how you do it. Looking forward to a re. Uh, what, am I, what is this? Okay. I'm gonna guess this is a vine. That was weird. Oh. Okay. Vine. Get in here. Love the jump. There's a small chance I might 255 myself. Okay, well, I'm not that far behind. Oh, I need a... Okay, maybe I am that far. I'm definitely that far behind now. This is a long-ass sky tree. How would any of this have worked? Hmm. That's one of those things that's kind of a... Oh, I died. 
Oh yeah, it said it doesn't work if you're in the... No, it didn't say that. That's... What did it say about air? <sighs> Can't jump while touching red arrows. Okay, that was what it was. Well, that's annoying. Yeah, this is a problem with doing puzzle levels for like a VLDC or an OLDC or what have you. Is solving a puzzle once makes you feel smart. Solving the same puzzles over and over when you get to the end and die suck. So getting yourself hosed early kind of blows. Which is why I was like, oh, I didn't, I didn't do this properly, did I? Oh, I see, I see what Max was saying about the timing. Okay, I just need to do a little bit later. And jump. Okay, it was still too early. Perfect. Still happy with the double grab, though. Wait, what? Oh, I went to the retry. Oh, God, I went to the retry door because I'm an idiot. There we go. Just don't do the stupid thing this time. Like, the thing about it is there's an awful lot of things you can do that just get yourself killed. Like, I just need to go a lot slower there. Let that thing get way ahead. See, like, if I get hit by the front of that, then I'm dead and get to redo it all. Like, doing these sorts of puzzle levels in a context of a full hack makes a lot more sense because you have control over all of your options. make good choices about when to give people I what give people checkpoints and whatnot. I don't mean like solving like one or two or three or uh, well depends upon how involved any given puzzle is to be fair. But when you're doing a set of rooms like this, especially very finicky ones, like the fish, there's always a bit of nervousness about just screwing yourself over just by getting hit. Didn't think that last bit through. Okay. Chill. Like this. I really like this. But that is a clever obstacle. I probably wouldn't have made that the power-up gate, but what have you. And then this is, is long. Hard to read, and you have a good chance of dying because of random jank, apparently. Because you only get one brick. If it was three bricks in configuration, I know what to do there. But it being four... Not sure yet what to do there. We're going back down. To remember the order of these obstacles so I can do them quicker. You can't outrun the piranha plant, can you? Like, you can't do it too well. Oh, I see. Actually, I'm supposed to come down. I'm supposed to do this twice. That's sketch. Yep. 
Yeah. Well. I've got to be way faster. Bing. All right. Nope. This all makes more sense now. Like, it is a very effective ender, though. Assuming this is the final obstacle. Okay, come back down. No! The, the bomb part wasn't that bad. Once I got it down, like, I understood the timing. It just took a couple, a few minutes of playing around. Uh, I mean, this is a sky tree. <laughs> Part of the thing is I'm worried about, like, scrolling the screen while I'm scrolling the screen to some extent. Like, I don't know exactly how jank this is. And this is just has turned into, like, an issue of memorization. Like, I think I've got this down. It'll happen pretty quick here. Got it, see? That wasn't too bad. There's a midway. Oh, you. Made it! Ah, won't first shot that. Can't complain. Beans are so glitched when they're at the top of the side of the screen. Yeah. do here? Oh. I only want to get him to eat that. At least we're past the H. Can Yoshi's eat those? I guess they can. Precision Yoshi eating! I've done that one recently-ish in a hack. I can only get one of those. And I guess I only needed one? Well, thanks. I don't like either of these. Thank you for the H's. So that one's just always gonna proc somehow. I'm always close enough to that one, which is weird. When do I want him to proc? Proc like around here? Give me a little bit of. Nope, that's not nearly enough space. Womps are jank. It can be. There's got to be a better timing than anything I found. Ugh. All right, different strat. Guess that was a better strat. I like the single concept rooms a lot better. Wait. Oh, oh, okay. We're this. This is cool again. Then I need the Yoshi to. Okay, I get this. Yeah, it's actually really cool. Don't 
think I despawned it. I think I despawned it. Yeah, like, figure, choosing when to go down is going to be the tricky bit. And huzzah! A bit mean putting the spikes above the Yoshi, though. Okay. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be going through the reset door, but... Dang. So, I did think I was gonna get some knowledge first, but apparently not. Like, I learned from Rocket Rocket Races. Always keep going forward to get the knowledge. Okay, well, I wasn't that far off from what I apparently needed to do. I'm not sure why killing him was necessary, but okay. Yeah, I want more time with the brick. Even if I got that on the first try... Nope. Hmm. Like right there, that is explicitly meant to waste your time. You can't immediately go. I want to go as soon as possible. Then I need to remember that the next thing after that is a green bean and just hold B as I'm ascending. Which I think would work. Or not. No, not that either. Okay. How does that help me? Oh! Well, I guess now I know. Yeah, that would have been nice if it was on screen. So I could have seen it before failing it. At least, uh, I keep going an inch too early. Okay. This time, shall be different. I'm gonna let it run for a little bit, just in case the machine takes a second. And then we go. I wonder how you could end up on this side. I guess actually, huh. What? No! <laughs> no! Okay, so apparently there wasn't a machine to set that up. Instead, it was just how it is. There's always a thing there and I just didn't notice it before. So I can no longer call shenanigans on that man. And I didn't throw. We think about it because I don't think like people still use the word shenanigans all that often until the South Park episode where calling shenanigans was a thing came out. It was in the context of an incredibly bullshit uh, state county county fair, which had such wonderful rides as the line simulator. That's what it would be like to stand in line for something real, and the 
Chamber of Farts. One more frame, that would have been fine. Cow Days, that was the name of the episode. I don't want to watch any South Park. That was slower than my last attempt? Huh. What's up, Steven? Yeah, I'm doing well. Just kind of chilling today. Got a few things done. Nothing terribly important mind, but a few things done. I'll do some house cleaning tomorrow, too, I think. And do some YouTube nonsense, because... Oh, yeah, I guess I never posted that anywhere. That, I guess, is useful, interesting news. YouTube finally replied to me. So, uh, I passed their audit, and I was given additional quota. 100 extra quota. Sleepy, want to go back to bed? Want to go to bed? Fair. But no, I get a, I have 100 extra quota. So I now have 10,100 quotas. What does this mean? Literally nothing. But it's nice that they basically blessed my application to do what it does on YouTube now, and I probably will not suffer further indignities. With any luck. But it just was funny that they actually just decided to increase my quota by exactly what I asked for, because I didn't really care. My goal wasn't to get my quota increased. I already have plenty of quota, given what I'm doing. I just need to wait half a second longer there. Because I can upload about seven-ish videos a day, and that's plenty. In addition to the other stuff I do. There we go. I didn't know where it was going to be, and I didn't want to jump into the thing because it wasn't scrolling fast enough. I'm kind of shocked the dude decided to do two sky trees in the same level. I guess I shouldn't be that shocked. That's not uncommon in Kaizo, is it? I didn't keep missing that one. The big issue here is, like, because of vertical scrolling's relatively slow speed, it's hard to anticipate certain things. So not happy about the, uh, the Kaizo, or uh, the Skytree block up there. I do feel like I need to be at that speed there. There's nothing that kills me here. Like, if I die to anything here, it's really dumb. So at least that's... I've got that going for me. Or jank. Or I die to some weird little bit of jank. But that's also reasonably acceptable, comparatively. I cannot get the timing for that down. I probably should just wait a little bit longer. Lots of interesting setups. I really preferred the rooms that were like, here's one idea and we're just going to play around with it. But it still was a really good level. Like, what did this actually end up doing? Let's see now. 18. Yeah, that's that's solid for a VLVC, to be honest. Like, VLVC is so competitive. It finished one below Sports Bonanza, and Sports Bonanza was really good. 